Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool arcade game repair video for you this evening. This time we have Nintendo's Play Choice 10. This is the dedicated single monitor version. You actually don't see these that much. Most of them are two monitor, dual monitors. And then when you see the when you see the one monitor ones, they're not usually the dedicated ones. It's where somebody took a Donkey Kong or something and turned it into a play choice. But if you don't know anything about the play choice systems, this holds ten games. It's almost like a Nintendo. And you don't really buy credits. You buy time with your quarter. So you put a quarter in. And it gives you 90 seconds or however long you got it set for. And you can play whatever game you want. So you could play Mario for 30 seconds if you want. And then you could exit. And go back and pick a different game and play that for a little bit so I mean you can put four or five quarters in have five six minutes whatever and the operators like these because you can swap the games out very easily it's basically almost like a Nintendo but I'll show you all that in a little bit so anyway uh, customer brought this in I didn't sell him this he, I don't know where he got it but it's in pretty good shape Cabinet's pretty nice, other than the coin door needs some work. Ronnie's actually got a really nice one of these at his house, just like it. We are always a Nintendo fan. But anyway, a customer brought this in and he said that it was working and then he adjusted the volume or something and then the monitor went out. And he also said that some of the cartridges don't register on the motherboard, so that's probably just a bad connection. But I haven't plugged it in or anything yet. But, you know, I've already diagnosed it. I already know what's wrong with it. And maybe if you're watching, and you've been watching for a while, you've, you probably already know what's wrong with it too. So just leave it down in the comments if you know what's wrong with this machine. Look at the power cord they've put on this thing. I haven't plugged it in yet, but look how long it is. Let's see, that's probably a 12 foot long power cord. But anyway, I'm going to take the back door off. The guy had one little screw holding the back door on. He took it off and showed me what knob he turned whenever he dropped it off. So I'm going to get a screwdriver and I'll open it back up. Alright, so this is the monitor board. All this over here is the sound amp and the inverter set up. Most of the Nintendo games actually had a Sanyo monitor in it. But on a dedicated Play Choice 10, they actually came originally with a 7000 monitor or 7000A. And they were able to use that because they had this inverter set up over here. And there's the power supply. <clears throat> and the board is actually inside this cage here. only bad thing about these 7000 A's is you can't get the flybacks for them anymore but maybe that flybacks not bad we'll see it doesn't look like it's ever had a cap kit in it or somebody took a couple of the caps out and changed them I don't really I hate it when people do that 
Yeah, they swapped a few of the caps. That drives me crazy. So you're going to take the monitor board out, take the whole thing out, and you're going to change four of the caps and not change the other ones. That just doesn't make any sense to me. See all those blue ones? Those are original. That one looks like it's been changed to me. A couple of them have been changed, it looks like to me, but maybe I'm wrong. But people do that all the time. They'll take the whole monitor board out and they'll change one or two of the caps. Well, if those two are bad, they were all made at the same time. You know the other ones are bad too or getting ready to be bad. So change all of the capacitors. If you're going to do a cap kit, don't just change one or two. Change all 15 of them. It's not going to take you that much longer. But anyway, back to the story. Guy claims it was working fine. And he turned the volume like so. And the monitor went out. So, we'll see. Sometimes people think the monitor is out, and it's actually the power supply, the game board cut off or something. So we'll see. Let's plug it in. I've not plugged it in yet. I like to plug them in on camera so everybody knows. Here we go. I hear the monitor already. I heard a crackle and a pop on the monitor. We'll see. See if anything's on the screen. Nothing on the screen. I don't have a timer up here either. I wonder if it's in there. There's usually a little timer. Yeah, there it is. Timer's not on zeros. I think the power supply is dead or something myself, but we'll see. I'm putting credits on it. Oh, this may be interesting. Somebody might want to see this. I've had people ask this before. I don't think I've ever shown this on camera. Thirty-eight hundred plays. That's pretty low. So every time you put a quarter in, so it's probably rolled over. Yeah, it's probably got a, I don't know, it's in pretty good shape. What do you think? You think it's got a 3,800 original credits on it? I find that hard to believe. But the control panel's in pretty good shape. Usually these are all beat up along the edge here. Maybe. But anyway, let's see. Since I'm not getting any zeros up there, and I'm pretty sure I heard the, the monitor come on. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn up the flyback. Turn up the flyback. And then we're going to go around. Bam. See how the monitor's got raster on it? Well, obviously there's nothing wrong with the monitor. But I probably will go ahead and change those capacitors just for good measure. But we've got a power supply problem. Remember what that hippie said? Does anybody remember what that nice hippie said 25 years ago? Power supply, power supply, power supply. These uh, little filter boards are sometimes problematic too. 
but I got to get the meter out and we'll check our voltages. 4.5 so we should have 5 volts so power supply is too low to boot the board and the bad part about the Nintendo power supplies is there's not a adjustment usually on most power supplies you could just turn the thing up a little bit and be fine but the Nintendo ones don't have that and I don't normally I would just put another power supply in but I don't have any of these Nintendo style ones they don't really make these that I'm aware of normally you could just put in you could cut all these wires and just hack in a switching power supply I may have to do that but I don't really want to because this is an all original game so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that power supply out of there and I'm going to change the capacitors and try to fix it that way I, I don't have to hack up any of these wiring this is an all original game I hate to just start cutting wires and splicing in Chinese power supplies and all that crap so I'm going to take that power supply out change the capacitors and hopefully that will do something okay I got the power supply out of there I got it the case off of it and I'm going to change all these capacitors here it's not that many of them and I'm hoping that's going to solve our issue it could be one of these resistors or something down here but I'm going to hope it's just one of the capacitors and I think I'm going to check them with my my new meter that one of our viewers sent us. This is a really nice meter. But it actually checks the caps. So I'm going to take them out and check them. And if I see anything out of line, I'll come back to you. Well, I've been changing all the caps. I've been checking them with the meter. And they're all, you know, they're all off a little bit. But nothing crazy. So I've been swapping them and then I get I notice this part here and this is where the voltage comes out that one pins pretty dirty so I'm gonna clean all that up that maybe you know the resistance all messed up there and it's not getting the right voltage out so I'm gonna clean that up and I think I'm gonna put a new pin in that connector there and maybe the combination between that and the capacitors is what was low in the voltage we'll see all right I got it back in there let's see what that does A little bit better. I think it was at 4.4 .4 before, and now we're at almost 5, 4.97. That ought to be enough to boot it. Let's see. See, I got my zero back. Looked like my vertical hold was off slightly a second ago. probably see how there's a gap on that side there's not one over there I don't know if you can tell but that's just the edge of the tube what usually happens yeah the whole thing's kind of misadjusted see I got such a big gap on the top what usually happens is the uh, you know the power supply will go out and they'll think it's the screen so they'll get in there and they'll start turning all the knobs on the monitor which I don't blame them you know if it's broke I mean it's worth a shot but yeah that happens a lot people will go in there and they'll turn every every uh, adjustment on the monitor but there you go that got it up and running I wonder what game it's, it's got in it let's see let's hit the reset button 
And so we've got Super Mario Brothers 3, Dr. Mario, Rad Racer 2, Tecmo Bowl, Baseball Stars, Turtles 2, Super Contra, and Russian Attack. He said he was having issues with that number 8 slot. He claims there's a game in there. See how there's supposed to be a game in number eight. So it's probably just a bad connection. I'm going to take that up out and uh, probably put some contact cleaner or something on there. But uh, I still got. I still want to mess with that monitor a little bit. I want to change those caps anyway. I think. Here. But yeah, it's basically like a Nintendo, so they're all the Nintendo games. Add some credits on it here. adjust the monitor well I'm gonna take the monitor out and I'm gonna cap it and then I'll put it back in and we'll get it all adjusted right we'll take, get the monitor centered both ways get the brightness and the contrast and all situated how we want it and then we'll put up the tripod and we'll play a few games all right so I got the monitor board out I probably could have just, you know, fixed that power supply and adjusted the monitor and sent it on its way, but we like to try to do the best we can, you know. We like to look at everything while it's here. You know, if the guy gets back home and a couple weeks later the monitor goes out, you know, he's going to be pretty pissed off at me. And then he's going to call me and I can't say, well, it wasn't the monitor, it was power supply, and, you know. I don't know, I feel bad, you know, then you have to load it all back up and bring it back down and all that. And the whole time I'd be thinking, boy, if I'd have just took another 20, 30 minutes and looked at that monitor before I sent it out, you know, so we like to just kind of go ahead and kind of shotgun everything. We're going to go ahead and change all these capacitors just for preventative maintenance. And we like to look at everything, too, because... A lot of times, you know, these will have bad solder joints where the connection, where the video plugs in, stuff like that. We might notice something while we got it out, like this fuse. See how corroded and dirty it is? I mean, it's working. And it may work for a long time like that, I don't know. But... While I got it out, I'm going to go ahead and clean the terminals here, and I'm going to put a new fuse in it, so at least I know that's good. I'm going to change all the capacitors, reflow the problem areas, and get every, give everything a once over, and then I'll put it back in, and we'll adjust it all. Alright, I got the monitor back in. I got it adjusted pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. The thing about these um, dedicated ones, I've had about 15 of these. And for whatever reason, the monitor, it seems like it's always washed out to me. But that's just the way these are. I don't know if it's the way they invert the video to be able to use that regular monitor or what. But you can kind of see it whenever you start the game. Notice the, bright the brightness is going to look like it's too high for a second. Watch it. See it? Then it fa then it's then it's good. And if you give it a second, but every one I've ever had has done that. You think the tube's bad or something, but it's not. It's just the way it is. So we got all that taken care of, I think. So now we've got to 
we got to take the board out, and we'll see if he's got a game in number eight. He acted like he did. He said he had nine games in there, but so I'm assuming that number eight is an issue. It's either a bad connection, the game could be bad, or the, just that slot doesn't work. That happens sometimes, but we're going to take it out and see. So, come around here. Turn the game off. Take this harness off. Let me switch hands here. That harness off. This harness off. And then it's got these little tabs you pull out. Like that. All right, now the whole thing should slide out. All right, now we're gonna unhook these. All right, has anybody got a guess on what the ninth game is? Well, number eight, game number eight. We have no idea what it is yet. We don't even know if it's in there. So here we go. Let's see. Set it over here. So these are your slots. One, two, three. So number nine, no, we're looking for number eight, channel eight. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that was a letdown. I know everybody was probably hoping for Chippendale Rescue Rangers or Mike Tyson's Punch Out or something. So if the cart is bad, that's probably the best cart to be bad is golf. But anyway, if you want to, they make a bunch of these cartridges. If you ever wanted to change them, they just pop right out. And you can move them wherever you want them. This one's Russian Attack. And yeah, so you can just buy these cartridges. I don't know how much they are now. They, depending on the game, you know, anywhere from 30 bucks up to hundreds of dollars. Just depends on what, what game you want. But it's a pretty cool setup. So I'm just going to take this golf game out. I'm going to put some contact cleaner down in slot number eight there. I'm going to clean these pins. And I'm actually going to move it to slot nine. And I'm going to put Russian attack in slot eight. And then I'm going to try it again. If I put it back in there and all nine slots have games in them, then that must be that. If I put it back in and Russian attack is not working in slot 8, then slot 8 is broke. Alright, so you remember how I was having a problem with the golf cartridge? So after messing with it for a little bit all the other games started to act up too so it wouldn't let me load Super Mario Brothers and then whenever I went back out to the main screen Mario Brothers was gone and it was doing that on every game I tried to play and I'd never seen that before so I sent a text message to our friend Shane and asked him because he works on a lot of Nintendo stuff we don't get too much Nintendo uh, arcade games in anymore we get a lot of Donkey Kongs and Donkey Kong Juniors but nothing really like this Spain, uh, Shane really likes this play choice stuff so I asked him he said he never he never seen anything like that I was telling him what it was doing so I said, okay. 
And about five minutes later, he texts me back. He's looking at the schematics, and he tells me he thinks it's RAM 2K. So I say, okay, I'll check that next. So Ronnie hadn't come in yet, and he's a lot better at reading the schematics than I am. So it was still kind of early in the morning. I usually open and Ronnie closes. That's why you see the videos at night when Ronnie does the videos. Most of my videos are in the daytime. So anyway, it had been a little while and I was talking to Ronnie at that point and I said, yeah, Shane thinks it's uh, Ram 2K. And you know what he said? Shane's probably watching this too. Here's what he said, Shane. I said, yeah, Shane thinks it's 2K. And Ronnie starts looking at the schematics and he's like, yeah, that, that's kind of what I was thinking. I, I kind of figured that's what it was at 2K. So sure enough, uh, we put a new RAM and 2K and it seems to be working just fine. But I did have a bad golf cartridge. Something's going on with that golf uh, cartridge because it won't even load when you put the golf back in anymore. You take the golf out, it runs and everything plays fine. So uh, still got to mess with that a little bit, but no big loss there on the golf cartridge. But anyway, let's see what we can do here on this. Uh, what do you guys want to play? Maybe Mario? Everybody likes Mario. So I'm going to add a quarter. I got 300 seconds. Now look, it says for two coins I can get 750 seconds. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm trying to leave it where you guys can see the timer. So I've got 300 coins and for two coins 750. So I got 750. But look, I put four coins in and to me, I ought to, I ought to get 1,500 seconds. But they jipped me. I lost 150 seconds there. That ain't right, people. But anyway, so now you go pick out whatever game you want. Let's do Mario 3. Hit enter. We can do a one or a two player for one or two. And it's pretty much just like a Nintendo at that point.
I used to be really good at that, but I haven't played it in so long. I think with the flute I could go to a different world if I wanted to. Alright, so you get the idea. I think everybody's played Mario 3. But the whole um, point of a Nintendo Play Choice is as long as you got time, you can still, you can play whatever game you want. So now I can just hit the reset button, go to channel select, and I can play a different game if I want because I still have time. Uh, we could do Super Contra, I guess.
Alright, so now you could pick a different game if you want. We'll try Dr. Mario. Time is up. And look, they give you 
they give you 20 seconds to run and get some more quarters from your parents it looks like and you can continue where you left off if you get back in time but everything seems to be working good on it I like it this is kinda of more my style I'm a little younger than Ronnie so this is the type of stuff I was playing I was always playing Nintendo stuff so I like all of these games obviously and I think this is a really cool machine Ronnie's got one of these at his house just like it but uh, anyway I think that's gonna do it for this one uh, thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you on the next one